Let's talk about six things to consider when you're choosing the experiment tracking tool for you. Number one is, should I use an open source solution or a commercial one? One main difference is that open source solutions are free by definition, whereas for most commercial solutions, you're going to have to pay. Other relevant considerations here are that you can customize open source solutions to your needs, you get community support, and you avoid lock-in. However, commercial solutions have expert support and tend to put more emphasis on UI, UX, and ease of use. Number two is the tool's platform and language support. Much of the data science today is done in Python in a few widely adopted frameworks. Most experiment tracking tools offer a simplified interface in these cases, but if you're using less used languages or frameworks, you should note that some tools offer a standard format that you can write to and works out of the box anywhere, whereas others use less documented APIs or have no support for some languages. It's important to check this before choosing your solution. Number three is the experiment data storage. Experiment tracking tools may store the experiment data either locally, in the cloud, or in both. Having data stored locally has the advantage of being able to analyze it on the fly using your own tools, whereas having it stored in the cloud is best for preserving and sharing knowledge. In this case, the optimal solution is to have both, but this is not supported by all tools. Number four is support for custom visualizations. A key element to different tracking tools is their ability to represent the different experiments visually. A good visual representation will enable you to analyze and interpret results quicker. Additionally, the right graph can help communicate results to others, especially to stakeholders with a non-technical background. Visualization is an extremely effective way to show complex data concisely and clearly. Some tools offer great visual tools and capabilities, others not so much. Number five is how easy it is to set up and use the tool. Convenience is an important factor that shouldn't be overlooked. A certain tool might be really powerful and track every single piece of data, but it might be a nightmare to use and overkill for any given data science workflow. Another part of this is the UI and UX, where some people might place a premium on customizability, while others might prioritize a clean and elegant interface. There's no right answer here, but you need to make sure that you're choosing a tool which is suitable to your needs. Last but not least, number six is scalability. The experiment tracking needs of a single user can't really be compared to those of a huge team working collaboratively with multiple projects and workflows. A tool that supports 100 experiments won't necessarily be able to support 100,000. If your projects have a lot of experiments, or if you have a large team working on the same project or platform, it's important to make sure that the tool you're choosing has been battle tested. That's it for this video. If you want to read a detailed comparison of these tools, you can see the link below in the description or go to dagsub.com blog to read more.